Hello, wonderful people. I'm Gail Cruz from Wonderbot Animals. And here is Animal Behaviors That Are Eerily Similar to Human Behaviors. Before we begin, make sure to click the like button, subscribe to our channel, and click the notification button for more amazing videos. Prairie dogs have a language. Prairie dogs are basically just rats, only cuter because of the whole standing on their hind legs thing that they do, right? Well, not exactly. The prairie dog is actually a member of the squirrel family, and since you've almost certainly witnessed the sheer stupidity of a squirrel who attempts to escape an approaching vehicle by running under its wheels, you might be tempted to believe that prairie dogs are just as stupid as their urban counterparts. But the truth is that prairie dogs are actually creepily clever because they can talk. They don't speak English, yet, but they have a complex language that includes both nouns and adjectives. Magpies have funerals. Actually, some animals do hold funerals, and one startling example of an animal that does this is the humble magpie. According to the Telegraph, magpies have been observed engaging in behavior that not only looks like grief, but also a lot like a memorial service. A magpie that encounters the body of another magpie might approach it and peck at it carefully as if saying, Frank, Frank, wake up, Frank. If the body doesn't respond, the magpie will fly off and then come back a few minutes later with a few blades of grass, which it will lay next to the body. But researchers haven't just observed a single bird doing this. Other magpies will join in the ritual, each one bringing its own offering of grass. Then the magpies will stand next to the body for a while before flying away. Crows can make their own tools. We used to think that humans were the only species that used tools. Then we learned that other primates use tools too. And because we need it even more humbling, so do some fish and insects. Clearly, you don't need a large brain and a pair of opposable thumbs to figure out that you can use objects to help you accomplish things. Turns out, we aren't even the only ones who can make tools. Crows use tools too, and they can also alter them to better meet their needs. Male fruit flies get drunk after being rejected by the opposite sex. At human drinking establishments, there's usually at least one dude drowning his sorrows in a glass of scotch. Now, we wouldn't want to stereotype or anything, but a common theme for those lonely, drunken evenings seems to be a romantic rejection. It may be pathetic, but at least it's something that separates humans from animals, right? Wrong. In fact, it doesn't even separate humans from fruit flies. Yes, according to National Geographic, a male fruit fly who has not been successful in finding a mate will seek out food that contains alcohol. Males who did find a mate, meanwhile, are perfectly happy hanging out at the barbecue with a bottle of O'Doul's. Chimpanzees hunt with spears. Chimpanzees are smart. They're also evil, but that's a whole other conversation. According to IFL Science, chimpanzees not only eat people's faces, they also use tools to break open nuts, and some of them even use tools for hunting. This behavior has been observed in a troop of chimpanzees living in Senegal. Like those New Caledonian crows, these particular chimps don't just pick up random objects and use them to bludgeon their prey, they actually design the weapons to serve a specific purpose. Scientists have seen the chimps breaking off branches, removing the leaves, and then sharpening the ends with their teeth. They then use their crude spears to stab sleeping bush babies, thus proving that they are not only clever hunters, but also just as evil as we thought they were. Seals adopt orphaned babies. All creatures are endowed with survival instincts, from the ability to recognize danger to the drive to cover ourselves in a layer of insulating blubber by eating brownies and cheeseburgers. But the most significant survival instinct that animals have is the desire to be a parent. Since our lives are temporary, the most important thing we can do, at least as far as nature is concerned, is pass our genes along to the next generation. That parenting instinct is so strong that some animals will readily adopt and care for offspring of other animals, sometimes even animals from other species. 
That's because nature has programmed parents with an insatiable desire to care for things that are helpless and cute. And that desire is so strong that it transcends actual genetics. Chimpanzees will laugh politely at lame jokes. Chimpanzees may be evil, but they do at least have one quality that some humans haven't mastered, the ability to laugh politely at someone's lame joke. The fact that chimpanzees can laugh isn't actually as weird as it seems. Lots of animals laugh. A recent study even found that rats will make a giggling, chirping sound when tickled. This is fascinating, not just because you probably never imagined that a rat could laugh, but also because you never imagined that anyone would fund a study in which humans tickle rats as a matter of scientific inquiry.